G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Jean Woodle, and welcome back to The Wasteland, where we're back in seven days, we're back in Demolishers Only, and we are back being a heckin' long way from home. I'm all the way out to the north trying to find some decent loot, I still need my uh, power drawbridges, I still need my gyrocopter stuff, I need so many things, so I've come to The Wasteland to try and find it. I've put some chests up on the wall in this little joint as a little bit of a not really a home away from home, but like a shack away from a shack, just so I can store some stuff and make some moves. There is a town out to the north that I want to go and have a gander at. There's demos outside. I want to have a gander at me as well. I'm just going to power straight on through. That's really what the dream is. Because we're so far from home, I want to get that gyrocopter. If I can buy it from the tradie, that would be bonza, but even just some parts would make me happy. So I'm really risking it for a lot of biscuits. There's Trady. Oh, there's a loot bag right outside his compound as well. Don't mind if I do. He restocks tomorrow. Uh, nothing really in you. I'll take the ammo. I'll eat both of you. I'm not really in the mood to fill up my pockets with random garbage today, so I'm just going to leave some stuff behind. Be exceptionally wasteful. But Trady restocks tomorrow. So I think I'm going to spend today and then tomorrow in the wasteland and then like hit all the trainers on the way back home again to see if I can find what I need. But I'm not particularly excited nor hopeful that. I'll just read you straight away. But it's two more days in the wasteland. So two more days of trying not to die. This looks a bit better. What I'm really looking for... Oh, that's some garbage. Hang on. What I'm really looking for is like the town, like the main street. And the passing gas right there actually might help me... I mean, you're going to help with the books, I hope, but you also might help with just finding some parts. The sun's rising. We've got an Aldo's cabinet as well. Ooh. And a Butcher Pete's. I love that POI. That POI has some really good loot in it. Plus, it's got that kick-ass underground garage. Always a good place to go and visit. Use the unsuppressed and... Boop you. All right, off to a start. Apparently, I did forget to take all my stuff inside out of my bike before, but, oh, uh, well, that's okay. A lot of valuable things there that I'd like to keep on me. Oh, this is the same pass of gas that I have back home. Oh, it's like, it's like finding an old friend having a cheeky cuddle in a rainstorm. Nice and cozy, nice and relatable. I thought, I thought I heard footsteps. I thought I heard footsteps and I panicked and broke my own lockpick. Damn it, now I can't get in. Cheeky 1100 bucks out of it as well. Anything I can sell is good by me. But what's not good by me is just how many de- Oh, how many demos gonna be hanging out in here? Shit! He was really close. He was really bloody close. Ah! Okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. I still got the vitamins working for me. You need to stop. You need to stop. I've only got like two minutes left. Ah! Oh, the vitamins though. Uh oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. The vitamins are attempting against that one. I'm now infected. You need to drop. You need to drop as well. Please get some bloody headshots there, please, Josh, if you have any idea what you're doing. But clearly you bloody don't. Excuse me. Oh, that's not a good time to do that. I finally had him lined up. I finally had him in front of me and I binned it. I binned it with no bloody ammo. Okay. Well, it's not even six in the... Oh, my God. Not even six in the morning. And I've already made an absolute shambles of this. This is all stitched up like a dog's breakfast. There was one more. There he is. Is this like a wandering horde or something? Or just, just waste, oh my God. Just wasteland being wasteland. Too many demos. Too many demos. Too many cooks spoil the broth. Apparently I'm the broth. I do have some honey in my bike. I'll take one of you please. And I'll wait until you get closer to 5%. So because I binned the infection mod, uh, I went to Kane and I pleaded with him for him to actually make a good mod for me. And thankfully he did. So the infection is working again. I um I did ask him to nullify the vitamins uh, effects and the vitamins are now gone. So I guess that bloody worked. But yeah, now sick. So um, now I'm infected with zombieism. Love that for me. I really wish I'm going to quickly crouch down. Oh, it's very dark though. I didn't bring... Didn't bring my NVGs. Nice. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, I really wish I had brought that secondary suppressor so that I... Oh, damn it. So that I could at least try and take down the regular zombies... Not regular, the demos with regular ammo without being so bleeding loud. Because every time I fire the gun, I mean, I'm calling everything in. I'm ringing the dinner bell for everything that lives in the wasteland. You're gone soon. And you... Although, at this point... 
There's, other than you out there, there's not an awful lot of demos left out here. Did a pretty good job of clearing them out straight away. Nothing worth writing home about so far. Oh, turning off the light makes it so, so goddamn dark. I can see you. Is this going to wake everybody up or... I, mean, I do have the suppressor on. What if I turn off my headlight? All right. Apparently, I didn't count as a shot. Never mind then. Oh, yeah, now they're all working up now. They're all working up now, and I didn't even kill the guy. Oh, there's a dog out here too. Is it, is it me, or are the demos stronger than they used to be yesterday? I haven't changed anything with their, like, HP levels or anything, so they should be... Oh, God, about the same. Oh, I heard a bit, I heard a bit. Why am I all... Oh, my goodness. Why am I always scampering for my life like a frightened ferret? Go away. Go away. And go away too. All right. I need to go back to somehow not panicking. Although when shit's going out like this, how could you not? I'm actually going to take a point of healing factor. I really dislike healing factor, but it seems like a pretty good play given I always have food. Am I hearing things or am I just paranoid? Oh my goodness. Oh, hang on. Did that get you? Are you still alive? How? How are you still alive when I exploded the barrel of petrol underneath you big paw? You're so unfazed, it's barely even a scratch. You're like that knight in Monty Python. You're cruising off on the next adventure. But you, <laughs> what are you going to do, bleed on me? How are you so okay with everything that just happened? There we go. What, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, spending skill points. <laughs> I keep getting scared. There's too much stuff out here. I think then, like if I'm really pushing... If I, oh, I don't have any points in Grease Monkey yet. No wonder I can't find any of the sodden books. You go to there. We'll go last your points into Grease Monkey. The next one can go into Intellect. That is embarrassing. That is bleeding embarrassing. I really thought I'd spent some points in there already, but I guess not. All right, well, that explains the uh, the sheer lack of books so far. And still lack of books. A T6 Spear and a book I haven't read for 5% more XP from Kills at Night and the end of that series. But you know what? You're, ooh, you're significantly worse. You're much worse than my current Spear. Never mind. There's another mechanics joint, Shade Tree Auto, just across the road, which should have some more passing gas books for me. I could... Cheeky. Oh, it's going to explode. Oh, it's going to explode. Didn't explode. Why do sometimes cars explode and sometimes they don't? I don't I don't know the rhyme or reason for that, but I, will, I, I grew up in a seven days world where any car explodes any time they break. So that's got me nice and confused. Do you know where I am? I think you know where I am. That's around for you. Put it right through your brain stem so hopefully you forget. You're still not dead. That's two rounds in the face. Three rounds in the face, finally. There's one, another one right uh, right here. I want to pick up that chair, please. No, no. Stay down. Uh, I'm not ready for you yet. You're going to give me a second. I'm just, I'm just all at sea today. I'm all at sea. Like a sailor who went to sea where you could see. I'm just, I'm all over the shop. Oh, okay. I'm... Very concerned about getting myself trapped in one of these rooms. So I don't want to make any brash or rash decisions. You're gone. There's going to be more up the top. Let's make doubly sure we're alone. All right, there should be one more, I think, up here. Yeah, good eight. That's a full-fledged round right in the chin. Sat you down for a good long time, too. They're tougher. They must be tougher. I was killing them so much better yesterday. So far, nothing really worth talking about in the loot. Another Harvesting Tools book. Thank you. Uh, get you out of the way because I can one-shot you and slink on through to get the weapons bag on the roof. I did find a tier 6 steel helmet, but I've already got a tier 6 spotty. Explosive, scrap you, take the rifle parts. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I, I went to the, the two places I thought I would find things and found nothing. Maybe I do need to go big. Maybe I do need to go to Butcher Pete's and see what I can find there. It's a big POI, it's a dangerous POI, but danger often comes with rewards. You know what? I'll keep that in mind because let's be honest, the POI is not growing legs and going anywhere. And I'm just going to have a quick little peruse of the rest of the main street here. Oh, for something like that. That's bloody perfect. That is a cracker book that hopefully this time isn't going to burn down like the last time I came to one of these. Plus a salvage yard. 
I reckon both of those have a pretty good chance of giving me at least something that I'm after. Um, I, where am I going to find gyro and stuff, though? I can't even find the books. And I've actually spent the skill points this time. It's all looking pretty okay. There's no demos guarding the books. Oh, oh, that came from outside. Hey, oh, you cheeky bastard. You cheeky bastard. You let me lull my guard and then popped up behind me. Oh, what did I hit? I stood on a stone and I popped up and almost clapped some titties, but we're fine. You're less fun. There we go. Someone's coming to say good day to me. No, nope, no time for you though either. My hip fire is gonna be so much better. Okay, all right. I just need to like warm up a little bit. Now I'm back in my footholds. Ooh, a cheeky supercharger. And a spawn helmet's the same as my current one. That's all right. Gonna have to keep my eyes and ears very much peeled to make sure that no one's sneaking up behind me. I can make mech parts too. Vehicle adventures. It is level 100 I need of vehicle adventures to make the gyro, isn't it? Like it's all the way, it's all the way at the tippy top. I'm just over halfway there and I'm so far away, I'm not even living on a pram. I'm never gonna get there. <laughs> it's just, it's just never gonna happen. It's either trady or nothing at this point. I think that ship may have sailed. Oh my goodness. Right. <laughs> You're right there, champ. <laughs> you gotta knock on the door before you stick your face through it. Jeez, there's a bear in there and <laughs> a toilet as well. It's the worst version of play school I've ever heard of. And an angry, angry truck upstairs as well. Hold on. I would have thought the first one would have hit you, but we're all fine. I'm just really trying to remember not to aim down the sights if I don't absolutely need to. Even if I wasn't quite cooked the stamina like it used once upon a time, the peripheral vision I need is still so much more important. That was actually some pretty good looting by me. Got through there relatively unfazed and unslapped. The wrong needle and thread book again. I was gonna read them then. Just gonna read them then. I don't have the time for all of this garbage to line up in my pockets. Scrap you. I've got a lot of just random stuff on me. I don't really need any more, any more spot helmets either. This is the downside of coming to the uh, to the wasteland. You get so much like decent loot that throwing any of it away is hard. What I think I'm gonna do instead, just while I've got, I'm so chockers on so much loot, I'm gonna quickly head back to my little checkpoint base. Oh, uh, through there, yep, there we go. I'll also check the mailboxes on the way past. Some more armor crafting. We're gonna quickly head back to my checkpoint base, drop all my shit off, and maybe go see Trady just to, uh, to sell some stuff. I just have too many. I have too many things, and I can't be running around with no space for storage. What kind of loot fiend will I be then? As a guy just hanging out guarding my boxes. G'day champion, how are ya? Yeah, good to see you too. Had to sacrifice some of my motorcycle for that, but I think I, well, I enjoyed it. He definitely didn't. There was an awful lot of goo that came spattering out of him. You're gone. I think, yep, definitely. You're looking up at me with those big doe eyes. You're definitely gone. Got no eyes to look at me with. Okay, how are you? How are you after that? You're not great. <laughs> yeah, you're not great. That was probably a little bit ambitious, but fun all the same. Repair you up. Look at that. You're good as new. That's looking considerably better. Oh, I very quickly need to eat some honey. That's right at 5%. I think that will cure it. I'm not sure if there's any decimals involved in that, but like, hopefully that will get me down to exactly zero. That's bloody good timing by me. Everything else in here looks pretty hunky-dory. All right, well, I'm now free of the inventory. I've got a shitload of spot helmets and ammo as always, but I reckon we're good to crack on. All right, it's one of the afternoon. We're making good time. We've, we've had some run-ins with some pretty big boys, but we've come out the other side of it. And at the end of the day, that's all I can hope for. This really has been just one of the most chaotic, chaotic and all over the shop episodes I've had for a little while. Like often I've got my back to the wall and I'm scurrying about, but this one especially, I just, I don't know, I just had a rough start. I wasn't informed, I was missing my shots, and I was missing my cues, and the demos definitely got the upper hand on me. It's kind of like a testament to this, what this series has been though. Like this whole time, I'm one or two bad decisions away from everything going real tits up or tits out and explodey. And unfortunately for me, I have a bit of a penchant for making bad decisions. I kind of want to give it a go. I kind of want to give it a go. The cop shop here, I mean, it usually has pretty decent loot in it, like cop shops in general, but I reckon this might be a pretty, not a good idea, but at least a, a shit, a potentially lucrative idea. I didn't even make it to the front door yet. 
You'd be the worst newlywed in the world. You couldn't even wait to get over the bleeding threshold. Calm your bleeding farm, would you there, champion? Nice one breaking the window there, hot stuff. You can cop that one. <laughs> if you hadn't left the, the supposedly bulletproof windows there, none of that would have happened. Is that like the weakest bulletproof in the world then, or... No, you're just ridiculously fucking strong. Well, no wonder he's like that. This is um the home of DPs. So I'm going to quickly grab the books and see what I can learn about it. Take both of you. Any other filing cabinets? No, not really. Nothing about. All right. Sneak on through. Oh, Vendo. Oh, you know, just had to tempt me. You know, oh, oh, you know exactly what I'm after in this world. And it's snacks, both in game and out. Is there anyone else actually here? Can I get a shot on you? Oh, God. Oh, yep. No, there's definitely others here. Close that door behind me and take take up a spot behind the desk. Use the bipod. Bang. Gone. Gone. Oh, I got that last shot in his chin. Oh, some books there. That was a dicey pill, but I managed to not do anything silly. There you all are. They're lined up. Say that. Oh, my God. They're so strong. Why are they so strong now? And why? Oh, why is everyone so mad when I'm using a suppressor? None of you were supposed to hear that. Shit. Ow. God, no. That's going to fuck up my bloody infection, you git. I just popped honey. I timed it so well and you ruined it. Gone. No one else around. You can cop that one for me. Thank you very much. All right. Apparently, I learned some things in there. I did find a Raphael treasure map in old mate's pockets, so I will take that one with me. No use for any extra ammo or anything. I'm being very wasteful. Alrighty then, thank you for the NVGs. I was just complaining that I left those behind. But I don't know, seven days taketh, seven days giveth. Uh, most often taketh, really. You are the slightly better one, so you can have those mods back. I really wish, and I've seen some people saying this in the comments as well, that NVGs would go in the place of a helmet light -like mod rather than goggles they just strap onto your helmet, especially if you're wearing like a SWAT helmet. That would actually be like a pretty good reason to go to SWAT helmets rather than the steel helmets. Some sort of differentiating factor, but I don't really have the choice in that matter. You can go into there. I will lock you into place. Actually, I want to try this thing because people keep telling me, go like this. Oh, it does work too. And I keep my goggles on. I should listen to the comments more often. Mm, actually, no, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not, actually. They always lead me astray. So that's really good. So I've got the NVGs rolling. To so turn them back off, I'm going to put them back in my hotbar. So they're definitely on. But I can put them back into my backpack. All right. You know what? That's that's fine. That's A-OK. -okay. Like, yeah, having them... Oh, I've got the books in the front room. Having them as a mod for the helmet would be really cool. But this works just fine as well. No books for me because of bloody course. That one needle and thread book... I've never not been able to find it for so long. This is taking for bleeding ever. Oh, jeez. That seems a better days in there too. But I just... I just want to be able to carry everything. I just want my pockets. Uh, before I get too far away from it as well, a big thank you to everyone in the comments who was telling me about the uh, NVGs in the hotbar trick. I have seen it before, but never really got it to work successfully. But I do read the comments. So everyone who was telling me about it, thank you for that. Nothing in you... I don't really need any of you right now. I do have... Oh, can I actually read you? I can. Raph. Raph. Where's your... Oh, my goodness. Where's your treasure map, Raph? Down the road on the way out of town, still in the wasteland. I'm absolutely nabbing that tomorrow. Oh, there's a couple up. Oh, it sounds like there's even more. Oh, my goodness. I landed right next to me. And this door's gone. That window's not looking good. Oh, it was right behind me. Right bloody behind me. Close all the doors. Get any sort of barriers we bloody can. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I can't really see when you're lined up how I want you to be, but this is going to have to work. Suppress rounds is always dangerous, but I don't think there's anything at nipple height. Change over. All right, listen. Oh, God, there's more coming. But that that little that little piece there, that was about as clean a gameplay ah, as has I've had in a while. Shit. Shit, I was so good for half a second. Now I've gone back to being shit ass again. Changed my name to Latrine. Up you get. Up you get. Just give me a second to figure my shit out. That'll do. That'll do. A little bit of boom. How do you guys like it? Turns out explosions are bad for everyone. Old mate's taking some time to go. No! To gobble a chlamydia noodle! Ow! You sack of shit! See what I mean? Exploding cars are bad, and I knew that. 
But the last cars didn't explode and these ones did. That hurt. That hurt quite a bit. The bloody random explosions. No one's friend. Gone. You're gone too. I took a gamble on a thigh shot. Is thick as fuck so I could actually hit it. That dog died from the explosion. Full whack. Full whack med kit. Just get it in and get out of here again. Oh my god. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Look at the damage. Oh, jeez. Things go badly so quickly. I was thinking to myself before, like, I need to take a couple of breaths and just relax a little bit because I'm way too all over the shop today. But then that shit happens. No wonder I'm frazzled. Hopefully that's the last of the rather unfortunate surprises. This is where they all came from. Nothing I can search in here. No books, just some medical supplies. I'll take both of you. You can go away as well. Might actually chuck in, <laughs> given what's been happening to me, might even chuck in those four bites immediately. Still nothing else. Scrap you for the iron and nothing else hanging out in here. Is there, I was going to say, there should be more. I haven't actually been through this PY before, so I don't recognize anything. Quick search you for nothing much. Oh, these things scare me though. Anytime there's a button in a cop shop, I'm pretty convinced it's gonna be a trap. Everything in this bloody game's a trap. I kept coming all the way around to the back where that demo exploded before with the very broken wall. That ladder's broken, so is this. I can't fondle the knob at all. That's always a disappointing revelation. I'll close that door. Books, don't get distracted though. And a broken ladder back to the roof. So maybe I do have to go up. Maybe I do have to go up then. Just double check you. There's another ladder. Yeah, everyone, all sides are pointing north. Not to Lauderdale. What? What am I seeing? <laughs> what is happening? There's a bear in the box. I'm not even twisting the handle and you're popping up to say good day. There's one. Do it again. Do it again. Pop up like we're booping clowns at the fairground. Oh there, oh, there you are. But now you're really pissed off. Now you're really upsetting spaghetti. That's a tough shot. Nah, my reflexes aren't that good. Huh? Reflexes aren't that good, but my guns are gonna be. Put a bunch of rounds into you. I can't see your noggin at all, so your ass is just gonna have to take it. Oh, no. Oh, no. They heard me. They heard me killing their pet bear and they're pissed. All right, well, I just gotta know. I gotta know what happens in here. I gotta tickle the button and see what comes out the other side. You. Open the door. Oh. <laughs> okay, I got myself all, ooh. Got myself all worried into knots over nothing. That door's locked. All right, I guess I'm going to the roof then. I really thought. Maybe it's like the prison pier I'm thinking of where you press the button to open the door and everything comes after you. That may, may well actually be the case. I'm up. Old mate's... <laughs> old mate didn't turn into a demo, but he's probably wished that he did. There's no one up here. Dude, it's peaceful. I can see the jiggling mitts of someone in the cupboard over there, but it's also the loot room. Close that door. Make sure we're nice and secure. That door's locked. That door's locked. So this is... All that stands between me and was probably a lot of zombies in there. I'm really hoping this um this uh iron door, this bar door, will actually save me, but that is definitely no guarantee. Oh, that's oh that's risking a nipple shot, Josh, but I want to tickle him. Like that. Close that door. Close that door. Did that wake everybody up? It sure did. It sure did. Alright, hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. No, no, no. All right. They're coming through multiple different ways. You need to get sat. I thought I had a bead on them. I thought I knew. Why did I ever think that I knew better? Of course I bloody didn't. This game always shit. Always knows better than me. Get off the bleeding roof. Hey, Ma. Get off the dang roof. I sure as shit am. You need to go. And then you need to go. Shit. We're fine. Stop. Don't panic, Josh. You're fine. You can do this. You can do this. Just think it through. And get punched in the face that little bit. We can deal with the infection later. All right. We're all right. We're okay. Oh, my God. These POIs suck. All demo sucks. That looks to me like it's all of them, though. <sighs> why? 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 Why does this... Oh, shit. Why does this always happen to me? Oh, they blocked the exit. Clever girl. You blocked the bleeding exit. You can cop both of those, though. 
I don't know how you, I don't know where you spawned in from. And this is one of those bullshit spawns where like after you cross a certain place, they spawn in behind you, which I've always thought was dog shit. And not just because it dicked me that time. You can all go. I will read you. No other loot bags though, but plenty of loot for me with some precious books. Lovely. Whew. All right. That was, um, <laughs> that was not a clean raid. There's no use wearing goggles because I'm already at 340. Oh, already was probably goggles actually. 340 loot level. Reinforced chests. Some books I've already read. Some ammo. T6 steel sledging. A lot of like good stuff. Like obviously good things that just aren't the things that I'm looking for. So it's weird to be somewhat disappointed by them. <laughs> but like I already have all this stuff. You're just kind of giving me things that I've already got. Just kind of like... Just to take the piss that little bit. To be like, look, we're giving you good things. It's not our fault the things you want don't exist, apparently. All I want is just a couple of gubs. I can hear footsteps outside, so I do want to go nice and quickly. Don't need you. Steel booties are definitely better than I'm currently wearing. I heard a moan and a groan, so go nice and fast, please, Joshy boy. In goes all of that. I've got an extra pocket space. What's in you? Uh, not much, actually. You can keep that. You can keep that too. All right, time to go, I think. Time to bloody go. I probably overstayed my welcome by a good margin. Is this the way out? This is the way out. Ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Not quite back into the sunshine, but I'll take it. Oh, that's why I haven't been doing the damage that I thought I was doing. Because I haven't been running AP. Oh, I changed it over to compare the pair. Like I'm a goddamn meerkat and I didn't change it back again. Utter gola. Utter spanner, you are, Woodle. God damn it. You're definitely the worst of one. You're doing 129 by yourself, and that's my better one again. All right. Well, that... Okay. At least that explains why things were a little bit out of going, because it turns out the issue was me in a complete shock to absolutely no one. Modify that. You can have that one to free up some space. It's half past seven. Yeah, go on then. Go on then, go big, or and then go home. Thank you very much. I'm gonna try and get through Butcher Pete's as well. I'm already here, may as well make the most of it. I've done this fate a fair few times in the past, so I'm hoping, oh, I'm hoping I can get through it nice and quickly. And look at that. See what happens when you load the appropriate ammo into the appropriate gun. Turns out you can do a fair bit more damage. Oh my God. No wonder I was having so much issues this morning then. All the things that I needed weren't in place and I was walking around basically slapping demos with a fish, wondering why they weren't dying for me. All right, well, at least now we know, we have the answer to the question that I didn't need to ask. Oh, idiot me, what? I tell you, I'm always, always my own worst enemy. A lot of green lights around the place. The only downside of running the NVG is like, yeah, I can see, but it's all very like grainy and pixelated, which I suppose, oh no, I can see, but my perfect vision has been squandered. I'd rather be blind instead. Probably isn't the appropriate reaction to that. Oh, that was good. That was tasty. You walked over and gobbled my suppressor. Boop, there's an extra one. Look how, look how much cleaner that was. Another T6 Cheney. I'll drink to that. Thank you very much. Cheers for the beers. There's a doggo crate just there. I'm pretty sure there's like a permanent spawn. Yep. Of a dog in here. Good. Oh, extra good. So this is the regular rounds. in a T6 sniper. Doing wonderful things. It's especially satisfying when the little laser lights up your eyeballs like that. I can turn you off. I can close the door rather. Any books? No books. No bathroom reading. What? Why are magazines in here? It's like half the reason to go in there. I've got to try and go fast to get through here as well. Oh my god! As well as I can! A little purple Dee Dee! Uh oh. Uh oh. No. Um. Deeds. Deeds, real quick. I need you with me. I need you with me, love. Oh, Dee Dee, look out, love! It's bad! It's bad out here! Dee Dee, we're gonna go! We're gonna go! Follow me, please! I found a purple Dee Dee drone! In a body safe! But the demos have come and taken from me! You need to go! Oh my god! Oh my! I'm stuck in a corner! This is way too small! Oh, this is way too small! To be trying to. No! Kill him! Kill him! Oh no! I'm gonna. I'm stuck in a hole on fire! Um, I gotta go! Dee Dee! Dee Dee, save yourself, love! It's all coming down! I gotta get out! 
Oh, I gotta get out! I gotta get out! I gotta get out! I can't! I can't! I'm burning! Oh! First aid! First aid! Quick! No! Get your fucking first! gracious I I've got nothing I've got nothing oh, it's gone 39 days we lasted yes we had some lives and yes we had some hiccups and yes we built some ugly bases and destroyed some ugly bases but it's all over I'm just running I'm running through my head I'm running it through my head those final 20 seconds. What a roller coaster! Finding DD! Finding out that there's a horde coming into the attic with me. No room to move. Tickled nips. Can't take cover. Tried to kill him before he exploded. The building was gone and I was in a corner. I can see it. I'm gonna see it in my nightmares for months. I could have put first aid on right there, but I just had to get out. There was a pigeon squawking at me. The building was burning, and I didn't put health on. And by the time I realized, <laughs> when I was trying to get out, I switched over. Did you notice I switched over to my first aid kit, but the game didn't register? Like, it was highlighted as the first aid kit, but I still had my rifle out. And because I was trying to mash the click to put first aid in, I was just firing the rifle. Oh. <sighs> Fuck! I don't, I, 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 I don't want to be here. This hurts me too much. I love this house so much, but I still got the effect of the NVGs going on, even though I don't have the NVGs anymore. That's kind of interesting. But my house, I love this house so much. I'd fallen in love with it. I got attached to it. And now I have to say goodbye to it. Oh, everything was cooking. Look at this. I had cement. For literal days. For literal days I had cement. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, well. I mean the series is over. I, I know there's a lot of people who would want this to keep on going. But rules are rules. And that rule. Lives left. Permadeath. Which means it's all over. Do I have... <laughs> I don't even have the tools. I don't even have the tools to take down my life board. Just the slow etch away of misery. <laughs> oh no. All right, well, I'm gonna turn on God mode and go have a look at the damage to that building because that was absolutely cooked. And then we're gonna say our goodbyes. And then I'm gonna go cry in the corner for about a month straight. I tell you what, the building's actually stood up to that. Oh, maybe not. I was going to say exceptionally well. So where was I? I was like in here, I guess. I don't even know. I don't even know where I was when I was trying to get out of the the little hole in the ceiling I was in. I think I was here. This seems to make the most sense. Jumped over there and then got eaten. Got eaten in the bathtub. <gasps> A hero. <gasps> Dee Dee. <laughs> Dee Dee, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Dee Dee. I didn't even get a chance to pat you. I didn't even have a moment. Can you like, can you follow me up here? There you go. There you go. Let me look at you in the sunshine. Stop running circles around me, please. 
can't. I can't get over it. I can't get over that. That's how I died. That's when I died. The moment the DD showed up like a bad omen. Nah, I'm just kidding. Dean, you could never be a bad omen. Look at your purple and hovery and lovely. Pat, pat, pat. Can I, can I have anything to pat you with? I don't. Pat, pat, pat. Give you a little scratch under the chin. I can't. I, I can't even look at you right now. Come here, please. I can't believe I found a Jawoodle purple DD and immediately cooked it. They all just came up, though. Like, what was the, what what was my escape? I didn't have one. Like, I could go down, but I'm sure there were... In fact, there's... I've ever, well, the, the, the fact that the demolishers ate me in the bathroom down here suggests there was more demolishers coming up this way. Couldn't go that way. That goes down to more demolishers down there. I think I was just fucked. I think... I think... I think my luck just ran out. I think my luck just ran out finally, and the game had just had enough of my shenanigans and pulled the pin on me. Because there, there was nothing I could do with that. There was nothing I could do with that. Oh, it sucks! Well, all that's left to do now is take down the flag and say goodbye. Goodbye, base! I, I'm really gonna, I'm really gonna miss this one. I, I get attached to all of my bases, but this one especially just felt so right. I never anticipated living in this world for long enough to have a proper base. This was really a surprise. This is only ever meant to be a one-week series, but it's clearly gone on a fair lot longer than that. Oh, man. It's just... Looking back at it now, now I've had some time to think, what's a shambles of a day? Things are going wrong all bloody day. So, of course, today is a day when things go especially wrong. But no time to dwell on that anymore. Time to pull the pin and say goodbye to all that was. Oh, man. This is, this is going to hurt. I won't lie, I was uh, expecting that to go up a bit more like an explodey way rather than a slow and painful collapsey way. There's fire, there's a big divot in the ground. Look, it's a big explosion, just... Oh, that's it. <laughs> Here come the screaming demos to investigate as well, just in case things weren't bad enough already. There you go. There you go, it's gone. It's all over. I'm sad. I'm actually gutted about that. I was having so much fun with demos only. Way more fun than I was expecting it. <laughs> there goes my land claim block. Way more fun than I was expecting it to be. I really thought it would be like a one and done, way too impossible to actually be a feasible series. But one week turned into two, turned into three, turned into four, turned into five, turned into... Did we get to six? We didn't quite get to six. We almost... We got five and a half weeks. Absolutely ridiculous. And now... It's over. A massive thank you as well as the rest of my house burns away uh, to Ryan Face Scotland. I'm pretty sure that was your name. No, I'm definitely sure that was your name. To Ryan Face Scotland for making demos only into like a proper mod. I did demos only a long time ago as like a gimmick, just like to see how it would be. Uh, to see it like as an actual usable mod is pretty bloody cool. So massive thank you to Ryan Face Scotland for making this mod into a reality. It works out really well as well. You don't have to turn up the explosions like I did, but tell you what, it was a lot a lot of fun but aside from that as always the biggest of thank yous to all of you for making this possible and like i suppose this series on top of all the other ones because you know as i've said it was only supposed to be a short one but you guys wanted more so it turned into this whole thing so a massive thank you to all of you guys for making this dream a reality this this series was wild this <laughs> content creation is wild and i couldn't imagine a better group of people to be able to make videos for than all of you lot so massive love massive thank you um so what happens next i mean i know what happens next it's kind of the reason that demos were supposed to be a short one because i already had the next idea lined up so that one will be coming out soon. And you know what? I think I've been really enjoying these premieres we've been doing lately. So I reckon day one of the next seven day series will be a premiere as well. So we can all watch it live together for the first time. Like we're all sitting in a cinema, eating our popcorn and Maltesers, having a grand old time. But 
all have to come back and start a brand new series in a brand new world in a brand new playthrough of Seven Days to Die in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the patrons of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one. <sighs> I'm <laughs> I'm shattered.